All right, hey, it's Rob, and uh, now that the guide stones are gone, for better or worse, I thought I'd discuss the man who built them. Uh, he referred to himself as R.C. Christian. His real name was Dr. Herbert Kirsten. Kirsten is just, a, I think, a German version of Christian. And uh, he was interested in uh, what he called conservation. He was definitely interested in limiting the uh, population of the earth, which is written right on the tablets there. And uh, he stayed anonymous uh, until a documentary in 2015 came out. It's called Dark Clouds Over Elberton. And it pretty much gave up his identity, although it's not 100% confirmed. It looks pretty good that <laughs> this is the guy behind it or a guy who represented a group of people. We don't know who was in the group or what they were about, but uh, they were the people who financed the uh, Georgia Guidestones. Uh, the Guidestones are located in Elberton, Georgia, uh, Elbert County. This is the granite capital of uh, Georgia. And they have a lot of granite quarries, and it was a good place to do it because the materials were right there. Obviously, if you're hauling 80,000-pound slabs of granite, you don't want to haul them too far. So they were quarried in uh, local quarries that looked like this and uh, erected on a site that he bought, five acres of farmland. Uh, the uh, original farmer who sold it to him still had the grazing rights to it and uh, when I went to see the guide stones just a couple months ago before they knocked them down here's what you see all around cows so it's just in the middle of a cow field that they've cleared out and uh, now sadly it's a you know big pile of rubble and uh, never to be seen again most likely but uh, at least the cows will get their space back anyway getting back to uh, Dr. Herbert Kirsten this is his obituary uh, he was born in 1920. I think he died in 2005. It's pretty much known that he was a known racist. He was friends with the publisher who published a book we're going to see in a second called Common Sense Renew, where they uh, laid out their philosophy of the world. I don't think it was demonic, satanic, anything like that. He just had certain ideas, and he thought they were important enough to put on giant 20-foot slabs of granite. Here is Dr. Kirsten's house in... Uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa, his former house. And if you watch that documentary, the address is clearly printed <laughs> on uh, one of the envelopes. And you can just Google it right here. And here it is on Zillow, the unassuming house of old racist Dr. Herbert Kirsten. Uh, he didn't want to build a monument in Fort Dodge, of course. It would be connected to him, so he found a place basically in the middle of nowhere to put up his monument to the future of humanity. Interestingly enough, I noticed this picture in the background, and it certainly doesn't look like the Georgia Guidestones, but it's a lot of stones that have been arranged in some sort of pattern, landscaping, I guess, but I just found that interesting for a guy who wanted to put up a giant stone monument, had uh, you know a lot of stones in his backyard as well. Here is the book that he wrote and had published, uh, he was connected to uh, a few other racists, like, uh, I believe, William Shockley, who invented the transistor, also espoused a lot of racist beliefs, and he was supposedly a follower of David Duke, who was the Grand Wizard of the KKK, who would walk around with a swastika. Anyway, this is sadly the condition of the Georgia Guidestones now, and whatever you believed, and maybe there was some, you know, ill intent behind them or supported by some racist dudes. But hey, Henry Ford was a Nazi too, and I've got two Fords in my garage. So at some point, yeah, I think you got to look at the bigger picture.